Welcome to Underwater Math. I'm Wally, and I'm here to teach you how to represent fractions on number lines. Let's look at this number line. It has six equal parts between 0 and 1, and shows sixths. If we wanted to show the fraction 4 sixths on this number line, we start at 0 and count each section as 1 sixth. 1 sixth, 2 sixths, 3 sixths, 4 sixths. To represent this fraction, we plot a point on the number line on the fourth tick mark. This number line shows fourths because there are four equal parts between 0 and 1. To represent the fraction 3 fourths, start at 0 and count each section as 1 fourth. 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths. Our arrows stop on 3 fourths and this represents the fraction. Let's look at one more way to represent fractions on number lines. This number line shows thirds because there are three equal parts between 0 and 1. The arrow stops at the first tick mark and represents one third. This is my friend Hopper. Let's say this number line represents one meter. Hopper can jump two fourths of a meter. This is one way to represent two fourths on a number line. Boing boing. Hi Wally. Hi Fran. I can fly five sixths of a mile. Can you help represent five sixths on the number line? Absolutely. This number line represents one mile. To represent 5 sixths, we start at 0 and count by sixths at each tick mark until we reach 5. We put a point on the number line to represent the fraction 5 sixths. Let's look at one more example. Mr. Waddles is on his way to the grocery store. It is one mile away from his house. He walked two eighths of the way to the store when he realized he forgot his wallet. We need to represent how far he walked on this number line. There are eight equal sections between 0 and 1. We can show two eighths by starting at 0 and counting each tick mark by eighths. The arrow stops at the second tick mark and represents two eighths. Thanks for helping us learn more about fractions on number lines. Have fun practicing.